and welcome to our 12th Panic Journey character. We are playing as Liao Hongji. We are a Kitan Step Nomad. I believe this is our first Step Nomad Monarch's Journey character. Our challenges are to have 12 Buddhists managing temples in our realm, to get 200 provinces, of which we currently have 36. And to get four clans to uh, like us. I think our strategy will mainly just revolve around conquering the steppes to get our 200 provinces. And hopefully by the time we've accomplished that, we'll uh, have some clans liking us. And then we can just do our giant horde thing to get some temples for our Buddhists. And then we'll be done with the challenges. So let's get started. First of all, we want to make sure to, of course, get some light cavalry. I would disband the uh, starting cavalry to get even more light cavalry, but we don't have enough prestige, so we might as well keep these folks around. Secondly, we don't need a tributary. That costs us some prestige, but whatever, we need more land. And... Uh, Let's get that land. So uh, we have Yenisei bordering us. So we'll just immediately declare war for that. And oh gosh, our martial skill is horrible. Let's not have us leading any armies. So that we can go and, uh, I don't know, learn to rule, I guess. And let's also um, try to defeat fear. Sounds like a good thing to do. Let's have our son get an education and let's not marry him to anyone that's going to give us an alliance with a neighbor because that would not help us. And we of course want to get some concubines to get that prestige ticking from having concubines so we can get more cavalry. Alright, with that done. Let's see what we can build in our capital. Um, I guess more population is always good. And well, let's also have our people do things. Let's also join a society. Would be quite the joke to join the martial society with this guy. And considering he's craven, he'd probably just run away during the duel. So let's join the other society and let's get this war started. Alright, so we have conquered some land from our nomadic neighbors. Unfortunately, that means we now have a truce with them. So it is time to set our sights slightly to the south. And, um, well, I'm gonna try to subjugate Kocho, as we are allowed to subjugate once in our lifetime, and currently they seem to be a bit weaker than uh, we are, especially if we're considering the one nomadic vessel that uh, answered our call to arms. So uh, hopefully we can take this land and then start raising it all. Maybe leave a few temples around for our uh, Buddhists for that particular challenge. And then uh, continue on going west into the steppes as uh, we can't use the conquest Casus Belly on our non-nomadic neighbors. So we're a bit more limited in our expansion options to the south. Unfortunately, it would appear that uh, our vessels had other ideas about uh, us expanding the realm. And we're now dealing with a significant amount of revolts. Well, Yuzi is rebelling because we tried to imprison them due to the fact that they, or rather their Khan, tried to murder us, which I didn't appreciate. And then these guys were like, hey, we should be Khan. And I don't like that. So now we're fighting our fellow nomads again, rather than civilized people. Which is just fine, I think. We'll just beat them up and uh, then we'll go back to crushing the civilized folks. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, considering we do have our uh, one loyal vessel clan and a decent army ourselves. There we go. That is one Khan beaten. Can we absorb him? 
We could absorb him, and then we can redistribute that land. They have one decent county, so we can take that and uh, give the junk away to other clans. And there we go. That is the revolts dealt with. So let's also make sure to uh, absorb these traitors. And uh, then we can also make sure to keep their decent counties while heading the rest off to uh, new clans. We have reached 100% war score, so let's get our peace and uh, look at that. We're starting to be a nice large uh, realm. We are at, well, let's pause for a moment, 55 out of, well, the total of 200. Um, so we've made some decent progress with that conquest and in the meantime, as expected, our truces have ended, although before we declare more wars, we'll probably want to start revoking land. Because, uh, yeah, we don't really need to have all of these uh, feudal vessels, do we? Oh. Well, apparently we can't revoke while we have a truce. I guess in that case, we will just keep conquering. So let's head over to Ket, as that'll uh, give us access to some more land over here. Hopefully. Uh, I guess we'll be fighting Kumania soon. But yeah. Let us go west. But let's see if our console would allow us to declare even more wars. They would. So where do else do we want to go? Let's go with Saur. That'll uh, give us access to Aidakos of the Turgesh. So we don't have to wait for these truces to end before fighting more people. And with uh, the wars in the west won, enough time has passed for the truce to end. Which means we're going to have uh, a little civil war on our hands as we try to revoke th the titles held by the folks over here. Because we want to uh, burn everything except for the temples to the ground. So that we uh, have more grazing grounds. Because that's what being a nomad is all about. Okay. We have reached 100% war score, so we can finally get started revoking titles and uh, getting rid of all this pesky civilization business. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to uh, deal with a few more revolts while we revoke titles. We'll see how many end up protesting. Well, we're uh, conquering a bit to the west while we... Uh, have our silly little revolt going on because somebody didn't want to give up his land. I uh, also noticed that we are still at 0 out of 2 on clans liking yours, so that does mean that uh, we need to get the sentiment up to 60 presumably as we do have, well for example this uh, clan leader with an opinion of 100. So the getting the Clans to have an opinion higher than 60 is a little bit misleading as we need sentiment over 60 rather than just opinion. But yeah, that's the thing we noticed and uh, we have finished studying the stars. We can't change our focus yet so we'll just uh, be very smart for a bit while we wrap up the destruction of all holdings except for temples. Well, considering we have a rare moment of peace, now might be a good time to move our capital, as we do have a trade post location. So, putting our capital there will uh, make us able to make the minter, which uh, will boost our income a little bit. In addition to that, this is a, a desert province, so placing our capital here gives us access to the Camel Cavalry Horde. Which, uh, let's start building a few of camels are pretty good, so why not? Took some land from the Turkish, and with that, we got our uh, four, four temples, eight to go, and uh, a mere 132 provinces to go. I think, uh, let's see, can we do a subordination? We can do a subordination on Jia. Do uh, one for Ju Quan. We can get this trade post location. 
And uh, speaking of trade posts, we also got another one here. Let's make sure to actually put it in our own hands by revoking this county. Yeah, we'll just uh, try to take that trade post while uh, we have truces with the people to our west. Well, we don't actually have a truce with Cumania, but uh, all of their things that we can occupy are further to the west. So fighting them is going to be a pain. So I'm just stalling and fighting more fun targets in the meantime. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Take some trade posts, fight the people who aren't Cumania, and uh, burn everything to the ground. Alright, so we uh, took some land from Ja, cutting them into two pieces, and putting us at 10 out of 12 temples ruled by Buddhists. So, given that we're rather close to completing this particular challenge, I think uh, we'll go ahead and just try to take the remaining two right now. And there are two temples in the Duchy of Nagari. So we're going to go over to the Gyalpo of Guga, Guj, I don't know. And uh, we're going to subordinate Nagari. And uh, that should get us the two temples that we need to finish the challenge. And there we go. We have 100% war score. So that should get us our challenge done. Let's have a look. Hey, there we go. Gold in the leverage spending challenge. So, well, with that challenge done, we can uh, proceed to burn down all of the temples in our realm. A lot of them are holy sites, so it shouldn't impact Buddhism too much. And uh, that means more grazing grounds for our horses, which I like. So, uh, let's just see if we can find all of those temples. I'm fortunate that some of these people appear to be imprisoned already. Yeah, let's uh, revoke all of those and then just continue conquering to get those 200 provinces and uh, well, apparently someone likes us. Let's see how we managed to make someone like us. It is this clan and we have marriage ties with them. That gives plus 20 and then there are some various bonuses including plus 20 from having given them land recently. So I guess uh, we're going to want to have marriage ties with how many clans? Four clans and then if we give them land hopefully they'll have uh, 60 clan sentiment with us. Well it appears our late father has uh, died of severe stress so we are now the 24 year old Kagan Yao Nwosi and this time we actually have someone with some martial skills so let's join the eagle warriors and hopefully not horribly die trying to join and uh, I suppose you might as well uh, grab a war focus and uh, well I guess that's about it we'll just uh, keep trying to conquer whatever we feel like conquering right now we'll uh, continue getting the rest of the kingdom of Khotan because it's right here it has a trade post so yeah it's gonna be ours. Well, that didn't go so well. Um, I guess we have a nuke gun. I suppose these things happen. Um, anyway, let's see what we have now. Uh, whoops, that went against the wishes of the council. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's make a friend. And uh, also get some concubines, I guess. Who is this? My nephew. He's the leader of a host. He's uh, our heir. Well, either way, let's uh, get those concubines and continue our conquests. Of course, we'll uh, want to join a society again. I guess this time we'll go back to the religious order because this guy is not the most uh, martially apt individual. And uh, let's go carousing to try to make some friends since uh, it doesn't look like the council is too fond of him. Well, somewhat fond, but we have some malcontents. Well, now that we have a new ruler, it's time for a new ambition. And I saw this one, build a great work. So I think we're going to do exactly that. And we're just going to uh, have a random temple in the middle of the steps. Inside a desert. That's going to impress Buddhists everywhere. But more importantly than a random great work, 
we can subjugate a nomadic realm again. And uh, if we manage to subjugate this guy, well, that's another 53 counties to our uh, challenge, which means that we, uh, well, we get about half the uh, counties we are still missing from just that. So I think we're going to go for that. So uh, yeah, let's declare a subjugation and hopefully we can uh, beat them. They do have a very large amount of troops, but so do we, and we have these amazing uh, horde troops, so hopefully uh, we should have the advantage. All right, we are, let's see, two months into the war, and the enemy army has already shown up, and uh, they're going to attack us into some hills. Well, doesn't look like uh, this worked out particularly well for them, so uh, I think we have a nice fruitful subjugation ahead of us. And in the meantime, uh, our little army over here can keep crushing rebels, because for some reason people don't like having their homes burnt down or something? I don't know. I just like horses. Gotta get more grazing lands. And it's about one and a half years later, and we have 100% war score. So let's offer peace, and uh, well, that's a lot of extra land that we just got. So now we have bronze. Let's uh, see how much we have exactly. 147 out of the 200 total that we need. Just three more for silver. Unfortunately, that was our... Uh, one subjugation per ruler, so I guess we'll be going back to mostly focusing on getting step land uh, and clean up a bit around India, but uh, we'll, we'll want to wait with attacking the Seljuks until we just have another subjugation war, or we'll just never touch them if we end up getting enough land before our current ruler dies. So um, yeah. Now I guess it's time to start revoking stuff, or at least we'll start revoking stuff once uh, we can, because we need a special revoke reason due to having a truce. Oh well. Right, I was noticing a fun thing while uh, looking at our available casus bellies with somebody else, and it is that we are now eligible to use the invasion casus belly, which requires some prestige some population and more specifically greater or equal to 75% of our max population and uh, well it being an invasion we get everything we occupy plus we vassalize everything in the selected kingdom assuming we don't occupy it and uh, well that's one way to get a lot of land so we're going to go right ahead and use that casus belly on the Seljuks and uh, Let's see how much that should get us. A nice 74 extra counties. So that should get us exactly plus a little bit extra where we need to be. And in the meantime, we'll just uh, be revoking some land in our recent conquests. Now, of course, that's going to cause a lot of uh, uprising. So for that, we have some smaller armies staying behind dealing with all those uprisings while our larger armies will beat up whatever the Celtics throw at us. Oh no, the enemy army is approaching and they outnumber us. Whatever shall we do? Oh, well, they're already gone. Oh well, I guess that's the power of mountains and also the power of actual troop building rather than just m a mass of feudal uh, levies. Uh, in the meantime, we do have some people who are a bit upset about me trying to revoke all their stuff. But I'm sure... Uh, We'll sort that out. Oh, there are some more troops coming. That's actually a rather large army. I'm curious to see how uh, our troops will fare against that army. We'll probably be fine simply through the sheer power of mountains and also having decent troops rather than whatever this is. Although they don't seem to be too interested in actually attacking our troops for the moment. Well, I'm sure they'll uh, fight us eventually. And maybe, when that happens, we'll actually have all of our troops together. We are currently in the middle of our two armies. Maybe we'll just uh, go ahead and march over there. 
Let's see if uh, they want to stay. Well, we are going to intercept them. And... Battle has begun. And oh, look at that morale. Or rather the lack thereof. Well, I'm fairly confident that we will easily win this war. And uh, I'm also sure that eventually we'll uh, get an end to all of these revolts happening all the time. Probably whenever everything is burned down. Well, we have taken most of the subjects, I would say. And we also took some other land in the meantime. So I think we'll have enough if we make peace now. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then pause. And there we go. We have gold. Now for the last one, we need to get... Well, now we need four clans to like us because we now have too much land and they're upset about that. So let's uh, go ahead and fix that. Um, we'll just give away Boston Farah, I suppose. And who do we give them to? It doesn't really matter. We just need them to not be mad about us having too much land. So where are these places? Farah and... Grand land the title Post, 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 post There is post And now we should be back at 3 I believe Yes Now uh, we also fully upgraded Our clan gathering hall Giving plus 19 clan sentiment So uh, that contributed To us already being at 3 out of 4 And now we just need to raise Our uh, clan sentiment With one more so let's see if we make the noble or the Katyu clan person no longer a chancellor then this person will like us so let's go ahead and do that fire counselor and there we go we have gold now of course if uh, firing people isn't enough you can also raise it with marriage ties your prestige and getting people to actually be the same religion because we have some uh, clans that are not Buddhist running around here either way we're done now and with that we shall move on from the steps to Wallachia but that will be for our next video make sure to subscribe and do whatever you need to do make sure you get notified when that video is up and until then have a great time